Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where we are currently primarily working on our economy here and it's slow going at the beginning of the game as usual. That is pretty standard. We can think about maybe attacking some of these guys down over here. They're reasonably strong at this point and I would like to hold off on that. I don't want to commit cash to a huge war here although this guy is reasonably weak at this moment. Is he in another war? He is. He is attacking here. We're, of course, only allowed to do a de jure CB here. But we can do this. And we will. We see only 825 troops here. We're going to raise up our troops here. We're going to raise all of our men-at-arms... And I think we're going to need a few levy troops. The question is exactly how many. This should be sufficient. So we're going to move down. And we're going to attack here. N note how he's walking away. And their al ally just joined the war here. So they have 1,700 troops. Cool. This is a relatively tough war, but this is a good timing for this. So we should be able to get away with this relatively simply. Seven months on this siege, huh? Do we have any sort of a siege commander at this point? I don't believe we do, but we may have gotten one at some point. No. Okay, that's fine. So we'll just chunk our way through this as quickly as we can. We do get a new perk here, and I think Detailed Ledgers is the way to go here. So we'll do that. That bumps up our income slightly. We don't expect it to be much. Cool. Making money is, of course, the best thing that we can do at this point. So small plantations have been built here. That's great. But there's more that we need to do. So the next thing that we need to build here, we know that we're going to have military camps and camelries eventually, but the other thing that we need to build here is pastoral lands. So we will save up for that. Because getting money at this point of the game is the most valuable thing that we can do. Of course, we're spending money on this war. And we see their troops coming up this way. They've grouped up. The question is, do we think that we can fight them as is? They have 200 archers and 100 light cavalry. So 200 light cavalry, 300 light infantry. And 200 archers. Okay. So our light footmen counter heavy infantry. Their light footmen will counter our heavy infantry. Our camels will counter their light cavalry. And the archers are just kind of there. So we finished that up. These guys are splitting up right now. Let's see if they continue doing that. Fascinating. And they're fighting here. This is huge. I'm going to let them walk in here. We're going to look to fight them here. Okay. Okay. They're playing this game. Gotcha. So this is in Drylands here. They're going to immediately move out of this. However, we can put this guy in. Now, he's a lot less good of a leader. But now we'll get there in 16 days. We still don't catch them. Sad. <laughs> so this guy it is. We'll have to walk in here and then go in here and take this attrition. I don't like it, but here we are. These guys are heading up this way. So we don't have to worry about them for the time being. Cool. Ooh. I don't want to spend cash on this. Let us move on. Okay, so we win this fight. That gets us to 49%. I'm assuming they're retreating to their capital here. Yes, they are. Now they're playing this game again. We let them walk in and we move into here. And they're running. They're a little faster than we are due to their cavalry, I'm assuming. But we catch them here. This looks good. I want out of this war as quickly as we can. 
So we are simply going to fight this here. Now the sun. Cool. A Hunter's Lodge was finished up. And now I think they're going back to their capital again. Now I want to come out over here and build our pastoral lands. Now that that's possible. So we'll get that going and get that money coming in as quickly as we can. Cool. Uh, sure. Can we catch them here? That's a negative. We can prevent them from going here, though. This is the same situation we were in before. So we're just going to do this. Make them lock in, and in we go. So we'll put this guy in charge of our militaries. We're at 64% war score at this point. Ticking is on our side, and we can get more from battles. We just stack wiped them and captured his heir. So it is over. We enforce those demands. We will have to grant this out. We don't want to control it ultimately anyway. So we'll grant that out. And that's fine. This guy will now start paying us taxes. Eventually. <laughs> Once he starts making some. Cool. So we're currently making 6.5 gold per month. But that is reduced, of course, by our men-at-arms reinforcement. Now it's 11.5. We cannot, unfortunately ransom anybody. That makes me sad. Okay, so Marrakesh is currently maxed out for making cash. We want to get pastoral lands in here, so that's 135 gold. Okay, we had a sun. Sounds good. But at this point, we need to be working on optimizing our economy. That is absolutely the top priority. We will not allow a cult to rummage through our court. We gained a stress level. Hmm. The monk who broke into our throne room is holding a scalpel to our throat. Hmm. That's pretty good chances of being wounded. Why don't we go looking for it right now? Okay, so we could recruit him to our court or gain 10 court grandeur. And that's what we'll do. Unfortunately, our stress level went up, but we can drop that fairly easily by just secluding ourselves. Spending some prestige on that. Cool. Okay, so that's great. We're at 75 gold right now. Sure, show in the Sheik. Unfortunately, he didn't bring gold, but he'll get us some prestige in court grandeur, so that's okay. Attacking this guy still looks quite bad, I think. Yeah, that still looks bad. We could win that war, almost certainly. But I'm not actually interested in paying the gold for that. This ransom, yes, we absolutely do. Interesting that that didn't pop in previously. Okay. Military camps and barracks go here. So that's currently maxed out for economics. Barracks, military camps, and then this would end up being pastoral lands. Because we want to get as many levies as we can out of this. Hello. Now this we should actually fight. We'll let them finish their raid. We'll raise up our men-at-arms here. Actually, raise up everybody here. Very, br very briefly. We let them finish their raid to get the 15 gold. Did they finish their raid? I'm not convinced they did. Okay, we got the 15 gold. Good. And then we disband that. Fantastic. So that gives us some gold anyway. As well as some prestige. That is, of course, enough gold to begin working on pastoral lands here or pastoral lands here, which is kind of the better place to build it right now. It doesn't actually matter, but I would rather get our military duchy here as maxed out economically as it's going to be. We've got a small harbor here right now. Uh, military camps, barracks, hunting and pastoral. Um, okay. I don't love it. We're eventually going to need to change this small harbor, but I'm going to keep it here for the development growth and the taxes for now. That'll be the last thing that we put in there. Cool. Okay, so we've expanded a little bit here. But mostly we're working on expanding our economy. And it has expanded pretty dramatically, our economy. We finished up a conversion at some point. That was an interesting little voice crack there. We finished up a conversion, and we're going to head up to Tangier to convert up there. We're about to finish promoting culture, and that's great. 
We're definitely going to continue working on promoting culture. And we will grab... Honestly, we hold Fazaz. We're going to go for the stuff that we personally hold right now first. So there we go. We're at 78 gold right now. Pastures just finished up in Missouri. Cool. We are going to need to build... Ooh, 95 gold from household savings there. That's really, really good. So we're going to need eventually pastoral lands and hunting grounds here. We'll build hunting grounds first. And eventually... Wait a second. We don't need to upgrade this. We're not going to hold this. What am I talking about? <laughs> this is not part of the Fez duchy. Cool. So this is part of the Fez duchy. There we go. We will construct here. And what are we going to build here? Eventually, we're going to build military camps, barracks, hunting grounds, and pastoral lands is what we're going to have. So we want the hunting grounds to be built here. Now, we don't hold that directly right now. That's held by our player heir and son. Once we inherit that, we're going to just swap these two eventually. Uh, this guy isn't great. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, we are currently in a situation where our succession is going to be pretty messy. Really messy. But we should be able to just conquer that all back, I think. Well, these guys aren't going to be independent, though, is the thing. Okay. Well, we don't need to worry about it too much for right now. It, it'll be a problem later, I'm pretty sure. So here we definitely need to get pastoral lands built. We're missing 13 gold for that. And we'll have that soon enough. Two month ticks, to be precise. May you grow to be strong and wise, my son. Cool. So, we have enough now for these pastoral lands. We'll get that going. And we're up to 12.3 gold per month now. That's excellent. Now we're going to need additional constructions, of course, and a lot of them. What is being built here? Prayer halls? That's acceptable. Okay, a new stewardship perk is available. And for now, we'll take fearful troops, I think. Okay, that will hopefully drop our... Expenditures a little bit, but probably not by much. Ooh. Almost 200 gold for this. Honestly, I'm willing to give up the Corp Grandeur bonus for 200 gold right now. Done. So what are we going to spend that gold on? Well, <laughs> we are definitely going to spend it at this point. If, if we can't build it in locations that will directly give us the gold... We should be building it in locations that we cannot hold to make sure that they have correct building types. So, like, for example, this here. So, we should go ahead and build pastoral lands here. Okay. And then in this city here, we would like to build quarries. That's nice and cheap. We'll get that going. So, those taxes will come to us eventually, but it's going to take time. 85 gold for this quarry as well. I like that. That's pretty decent. These need buildings. Essentially, we need building slots. Or we need all of these building slots to be full with level 1 buildings. So that they can't build the wrong types of buildings. Right? That's the goal right now. Now, this is, I guess, reasonably okay. I mean, we'll swap off of that small hill fort later. But for now, that's fine. We can extort our subjects and we will definitely do so. Now, where are my loyal subjects? 285 gold. Done. So that's a solid amount of gold. We're going to go around and start building here. Top priority is building guilds to get that development growth going early. And then we can make the same sort of argument for monasteries, but that's control growth. So I'm not too concerned about that. I think the quarries are the way to go here. We can get another one going. Looking at this county here, it's fairly empty. This is good to go. There's this mosque here. There's a special slot for that. Interesting. Uh, we're definitely going to want quarries here. So there we go. We can no longer increase control in a county. Okay. 
So where do we want to be increasing control? Here or here? Either of those are fine. We're just going to pop down here for now since that's the lowest amount of control. Hmm. 20 gold. I don't like that. Oof. We're going for the cheapest. Another 20 gold. Another 20 gold. And 95 gold. No, none of those are any use at all. I don't want to spend 95 gold. It's probably going to fail. But that was as cheap as we could do. Actually, that's pretty good. So I don't like spending 60 gold on that. That's for sure. But we can ransom off some of these prisoners to offset that a little bit. It's not going to be great. But we will offset that slightly. Checking in on this situation over here. It's better. We're still truced here. We could attack this guy again. And honestly... We should. He's super weak. So we're going to do that. We'll raise up just our men-at-arms, and they'll head on in. Cool. So this war should be pretty quick, and we're still making 10 gold per month. I like it. That's very, very good. Are we not currently... No, we are converting. I didn't see this one up here. Okay. Cool. So once the siege finishes, we will, of course, win this war. And how much are we spending on our raised army? 6.2. It's pretty extensive, to be sure. But this will pay for itself eventually. So we want to get that into our realm as soon as we can. We're at 93 gold right now, and that may, emphasis on may, be enough to get one of these constructions going. Hill farms? Hill farms. Cool. So that's underway. And our economy is developing. It's not quite where we want it to be yet. But it's getting there. So mods are going to be done in 18 years. We want to have all these constructions done by then, ideally. We did just get 10 gold from occupying this location. We will enforce our demands and disband our troops. This guy is now our vassal. Cool. So that's great. And we got access to this impassable terrain, I guess, which is nice. But we're not really in a position to attack down over here yet. Pastures have been constructed in Marira, and that's always great. So this is now maxed out. Cool. Okay, so we see that there is a city holding up here, but we don't actually care about developing this duchy right now. That is completely irrelevant to me. I want to develop just these two duchies. So our next goal would be to construct a building here. And this is in a city holding within our military duchy. So we want to be just creating as much value as possible. Honestly, development growth is probably the way to go. Sadly, we don't have anyone to ransom after that war. I would have liked that. But no such luck. These guys have finished regenerating, and we can see that our current resting income is 13.5. It's come up by about 10 times since we started the game, but we need to continue to develop that. So our next payment is not quite going to be enough to build a pass or rather to build a trade port down here. I want to build a trade port, a guild, and probably a desert agriculture would be the way to go. No, a farms and fields. It would be a farms and fields. Okay, trade port first, just to get that development growth going early on. Cool. Okay, so that's underway. We have a lot more to do. We have a lot of buildings to build still. But it is going nicely. We are making good progress. 13.5 is our current income. The question is... Do we want to coattail this?
Almost certainly yes. He's attacking this guy, who is not particularly strong and is himself being coattailed. I'm just giving this guy time to have his troops be committed down here. In fact, we can see where they are. If we were to raise here, how long would it take? Eight days. Okay, I'm just doing a little bit of mental arithmetic right now. Uh, 297 light cavalry. This looks fine men-at-arms wise. It's going to be a bit of a walk up to the war goal. But let's do it. Now he's starting to walk up here with just half of his force. I love it. He chose against it. It's not a bad idea to not do that. But we're going to fight him here. And we will handily win this initial battle. Sadly, that only got a 3% war score. I was hoping for more. We're going to walk up over here and put this guy in charge. That'll result in 165 casualties. I think that's acceptable. Okay. So he's retreating up over here, perhaps even to this tribe. care about this kid. He can stay vengeful. Cool. So he's grouping up all of his forces up here, right? That's definitely a thing that's happening. And we're a little ways behind. He's at 2946. Okay. Once again, I'm doing a little bit of mental math here. Well, we definitely want to grab Golden Applause. So we'll do that. He's marching up this way. All of our forces are raised, correct? We have three unraised soldiers. They are knights, though. So we'll go ahead and raise up those knights. He is sieging here. Let's check siege times. Six months and seven months. 207 troops. So if we were to leave, ooh, these are awkward, but if we were to leave, say, these 171 plus these 88, that puts us at 2854. These guys can work on the siege. I don't think we have a siege commander to make that go faster, unfortunately. We do not. We have 3,000 here, so we still have a numerical advantage on them, plus we will have the defensive structures here. Not that we have any defensive structures built here. So we're going to fight them and lose? No, actually. Advantage started in their favor, but we rolled well and we ended up winning that battle. We kind of shouldn't have, but we just became the culture head. Okay. Uh, we still want to be on mots. That's I exactly what we want. Barracks is fine to be exposed, but we want to be on mots. So we're at 15% right now. They are embarking. And we're just going to walk down here, and all of us are going to siege. We were sieging that entire time. So that's cool. We'll see where they end up going. We have another daughter. Okay. So we're at 66% war score right now. Winning this siege... Oh, they're raiding up here. How rude. Winning this siege will very likely end the war. My question is, are they going to look to attack us here? They're outnumbered very heavily. This is... Hmm. That more men-at-arms counter is... a little awkward. I think it's because of their light cavalry here. Those only counter archers. We don't have any archers. Their archers, of course, counter skirmishers, which I believe are what our light infantry are, count are counted as. Yeah. So their archers are countering our light infantry, but this should be fine. They attacked us without these guys being present, which is very foolish. War's over. 
cool. So that went very well. We're being raided up over here. Uh, we could see about intercepting them. Hmm. They're currently at home. So they're not going to be carrying any loot. You know what? We're just going to disband our troops. We're not going to catch them. It's a waste of gold. So we're going to disband, and there we go. We did, however, manage to cut into these guys' strength. So that is absolutely great. With that, it is time to put a cut in here. So actually, before I do that, I'm going to spend our gold. We're going to spend this on definitely farms and fields. Eventually, we're going to want to swap these pastures for a trade port, I think. But, eh, we'll just put in farms and fields for now. It's reasonably acceptable. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including Casserol, JJ Gamer, ALS Gamer, Kentuin, Atala, Jens Graham, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Video Games Are Not Real, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.